Okay, we're all set. This thing's all lubricated. Motor lubricated. Everything's completely refurbished. Perfectly, perfectly restored, very clean, pick ring cartridge here. speakers, put a preamp on this and give it a spin, see how it is. Okay, so I think this thing's going to need a new stewer pimple, because when I press start, it goes up, it's supposed to go over right now, it's not wanting to do that, it'll help there. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't do that. Stop. Works fine. Let's go to 10 inch here. I'm not gonna try to touch it this time and see what happens. Yeah, see that's just not wanting to take it over. Okay, so I'm going to try to fabricate one because they want like $15. I figure something out. I'll let you know. Okay, so there's the stewer pimple. That little piece of rubber there. What happens 
because this surface uh, wears out. Probably has to be about a sixteenth of an inch higher. So what I'm going to do, take it off. I was thinking about just getting a glue gun and just put a little dab on the very top. A little dab of glue gun. Let it sit on there and then raise it up. Maybe flatten it out a little bit with a screwdriver so it gives a flat surface. Then we'll put it back on, see if that fixes it. Take it off here. Take this stewer pimple and just add a little surface to it. Okay, so here's the stewer pimple. I'm going to turn it over here. Here's the side with the hole. And we're going to turn it back over. Don't let it roll away. Let's see. Both sides. Okay, so this side. Side, we're going to add a drop of hot glue on there and just let it sit on the top. And I'm going to use this. I have a little bit of oil on there, so when I put it on there, I'm going to just kind of flatten it so it's not a, a ball but more of a flat surface and it won't stick. Okay, so give that a try. I'm not going to be able to show you guys how I did this because it's going to take two hands. But here we go. Alright, so there's my new Stewart pimple with the little dap of the hot glue on there. We'll see if it uh, grips on and does its job. We'll put this back, back together. Okay, folks, here's the moment of truth with my idea with my little hot glue gun. Put a little drop of it on top of the stool pimple. Smash it down slightly with an oiled flat surface like a, oh, I don't know, a knife. And yeah, let's see what happens. I think this will work. Let's go on over, baby. Hey, how about that? Don't waste your money, folks. We got a hot glue gun prefix. Thanks to John Foley. Let's see if it goes off. Yep. Let's bring it on over to seven inch. So bring it on over to the center of the record like it was a 45. Good to me, I'll have to get a 45. Good enough, and we'll, we'll stop that. Should go back home. It's all fixed, guys. Perfect. Okay, moving on. Time to put an ad on Craigslist. Thinking we're gonna ask 500 bucks for this. It's well worth it. This thing is so cherry. I mean, there's no scratches. It's like it fresh out of the box. Uh, yeah, even the, even the cover is in good shape. Little cracks on the side, but they're not broken. So, anyway. And here's the cue, so lift it up. Bring it to the end of the record here and see if it uh, close, does its thing. Should return. Drop the tone arm. 
and turn itself off. And you know that when that light goes out, so it's off. This thing can spin for a few minutes because it's such a heavy platter. I think it's like seven and a half pounds. So anyway, it's good to see. Um, I'll go from there. Thanks for watching. So now we're going to try the stacker, put a record on and see if it loads it properly. 12, 33, start. Put six records on. This is called a stacker. Also comes with a single uh, you can replace and then you just need to adjust this to the single setting. Stop. All the controls are very easily free, like it's right out of the box, brand new. There it goes, turned off. Very good. I'm going to go plug it in, let's listen to some music, see if the humming noise went away.